Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the comparisons between long term scheduler, short term scheduler and medium term scheduler. Before going to the comparisons between them, now we are discussing what is scheduling. Scheduling is nothing but allocating the CPU to the one of the process among the n number of processes for execution. So for that purpose we have to use scheduler. Okay. Commonly there are three types of schedulers are there. First one is long term scheduler. Second one is short term scheduler. Third one is medium term scheduler. Okay. Now the differences between these three schedulers are the first difference long term scheduler is also known as job scheduler. Short term scheduler is also known as CPU scheduler. Medium term scheduler is the part of the swapping function. So what is swapping? Okay. A suspended process, a suspended process that can be removed from the main memory and save the image of the suspended process in the secondary storage is nothing but swapping. Okay, because of the suspended process, there is no progress in the execution. Okay, so because of that reason, the suspended process can be removed from the memory and saving the image of the suspended process in the secondary storage or secondary memory is nothing but swapping. Next, second difference. Here the job scheduler selects the jobs from the ready queue and loads the jobs into the memory for execution. So whatever the jobs that are to be executed, so that jobs are selected by the job scheduler, that jobs are loaded into the memory for execution. So here job scheduler selects the jobs from the ready queue and loads them into the memory for execution. Okay. Next, in the case of uh, short term scheduler, CPU scheduler selects the processes among the n number of processes that are ready for execution. Among them, the CPU scheduler selects only one process for execution among the n number of processes. Next, in the case of medium term scheduler, a suspended process can be removed from the memory. So here medium term scheduler is the in charge for handling the swapped out process. So what are the process that are swapped out for that for, for handling that swapped out process? We have to use medium term scheduler. Okay. So when the suspended process occurs, Okay, so if a process requires an I.O. operation, so at that time a process is suspended. Okay, so because of that suspended process, there is no further, there is no progress in the execution. So at that time, uh, that process can be suspended. Okay, whatever the process that are swapped out, for handling that process, we have to use medium term scheduler as the in charge. Next, third difference, long term scheduler is slower when compared to the short term scheduler. But the short term scheduler is faster when compared to the long term scheduler. But medium, medium term scheduler is minimal, uh, medium, average speed in 
between the speed of the long term scheduler and short term scheduler. Next, fourth difference, long term scheduler also controls the degree of multi-programming. Okay, it controls the multi-programming. Long term scheduler also controls the degree of multi-programming. In the case of short term, in the case of short term scheduler, less control over the degree of multi-programming. Here, more control over the degree of multi-programming in the case of long term scheduler. But in the case of short term scheduler, less control over the degree of multi-programming. Here, reduce, uh, here reduces the um, medium term scheduler, reduces the degree of multi-programming. Next one. In the case of long term scheduler, so in long term scheduler, there is no occurrence of time sharing operating system. So time sharing operating system is not there in a long term scheduler. But in the case of a short term scheduler, so time sharing operating system is minimal. Okay. But medium term scheduler uses the uh, time sharing operating system. Only medium term scheduler uses the time sharing operating system. But a long term scheduler does not use the time sharing operating system. But in the case of medium uh, short term scheduler so there is a minimal occurrence of time sharing operating system it uses the time sharing operating system in a minimal manner okay next one uh, when the in the case of long term scheduler when the process changes its state from new state to ready state then it becomes a long term scheduler okay when the process changes its state from new state to ready state then it becomes the long term scheduler in the case of short term scheduler when the process changes its state from ready state to running state then it becomes the short term scheduler okay so this uh, process 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 state change does not occur in medium term scheduler next one long term scheduler selects a process long term scheduler selects a good process so it is a mix of io bound and cpu bound it selects a good process but uh, short term scheduler selects a new process select a new process that can be occurred quite frequently for the cpu okay next here in this one short me, medium term scheduler selects the suspended process and save the image of the suspended process in a secondary memory so these are the main differences between long term scheduler short term scheduler and medium term scheduler okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so dibbela srinivasarao t i b b e l a dibbela srinivasarao dibbela